Hey everybody, I'm back with yet another Chalice Dungeon Miniature and this is the Beast Possessed Soul. He is primed in Army Painter's White Primer because I'm going to be using some contrast paints over this guy. And we're starting off with some Black Templar. Now what's fun about using the Army Painter Primers is that you have color match colors in their War Paints range. So if you make a mistake like I did here where I painted his hand pretty much all in the Black Templar, I can go back, paint over it in the matte white and have it completely fixed. Using the primers from Citadel sometimes has that disadvantage that you don't have those color matches so you don't know what to use to touch it up. So you might be careful, more careful, trying not to make mistakes and stuff. But sometimes it's hard. You're new at painting. I've been painting for over a year, uh, almost two years now, and I still make mistakes and they're still not the best. But I mean, I love painting miniatures and that's why I make these videos for you guys too. And I hope you like them. So we're moving on to Fire Slayer Flesh. Very simple. We're doing this for his horns. Uh, just because I want to use that, like, not too brown and not too fleshy, but just perfect. We're going to do his tongue with some Blood Angels Red. That's another contrast paint, of course. Uh, could you just use some regular red? Uh, Opal Skin from the Army Painter's new Skin Tone paint set. Uh, this, the, These colors are just amazing. I mean, the next one we're using is Dorado Skin. It's the first time I use it. And because I wanted his hands to be darkish, like in the um, in the artwork, and putting this skin tone on, and not using like Fire Slayer Flesh or Golem and Flesh as a contrast, makes it that we use different kinds of paints on these miniatures. So it's not always just contrast paints or acrylic paints or inks and stuff. But the coverage of these paints are unbelievable. Uh, love them. They barely even need to be shooken. I don't even know if I need to put a mixing ball. I've put them in each one because this set actually comes with mixing balls. Thank you Army Painter for that. So I did put one in there, but it's just, it comes out like smooth when you take it out of the bottle. There's not a, bunch, a whole bunch of like pigments that are not mixed. Just amazing. So uh, if you don't have this paint set, I suggest you take a look at it. It's on their website. Uh, it's in stores. It's amazing. Uh, now we're going to be doing a dry brush of Dawnstone, which is a Citadel dry paint. These are made specifically for dry brushing because they wanted them to have a grayish hue. And then I also noticed in the artwork had a bluish hue. So I'm using Kronos Blue now on just the top, just very slightly dry brushing it over it. And then I'm going to come back and finish off the hands and the face with that strong skin wash, which is also in that skin tones paint set. And you can see the hands get a little bit darker with this, which is perfect, which is what I wanted. Look like just like the artwork. I finish off the base uh, by using some Vallejo texture mud, a little, uh, I think I used some Agaras Dunes on the base, and I finish off the miniature with a little bit of blood for the blood god, uh, at least just to get some spots that you miss, but he has some blood splattered on him, so I figured, you know, anywhere that you're missing some spots or it's not very pretty, add some blood. And there you go, the soul-possessed beast, or sorry, the beast-possessed soul, or is it soul-possessed beast? I don't know. Anyways, he's finished, ready for the table. Have a good day, and we'll catch you in the next one.